Hi, this is Chad Clark, uh, Physical Therapy Connections, Pueblo, Colorado, giving you myth number three and busting the myth number three, actually. So our first two myths, one was based on, number one, you do not need a referral to come to physical therapy, especially in the state of Colorado, to be evaluated and treated for your back, shoulder, knee problems. Myth number two, physical therapy is thought to be painful, but it is not, especially here, we keep it safe and pain-free. Myth number three, physical therapy is only for injuries and rehabilitation or accidents. Actually, that is a really big myth and actually and keeps people from coming here. What we find more and more is people are coming on the other P word, the preventative side of things. So instead of just for pain, they come and say, you know, I'm into a CrossFit or I've been doing this exercise program and I wanna keep doing it because I'm losing weight and I'm feeling better. I, how can I help? How can you help me prevent injury? So this is what we're hearing from people, and there are very many uh, diverse things that we can do to help you not only get out of pain if that's what you're coming for, but if you don't have any pain and you're just here for health, wellness, and just better mobility, and to prevent any injuries, neck, back, or shoulder, we can definitely help you with that. Um, in fact, we have um, something that we have our three Ps physical therapy, prevention, peak performance. So yes, typically some people will enter us at one where pain relief, we wanna get pain and swelling down, then help their motion, improve strength, function. But a growing number of people are coming in even without the insurance part, meaning they're not using their insurance. They are um, say, hey, I'm gonna pay privately and just like a personal trainer or massage, and I want you to help me on these higher level, steps five, six, and seven, coordination, agility, and getting better at their athleticism, meaning their sports. Their, some people are on the weekend warriors doing the obstacle course races or playing volleyball in rec league, softball, basketball, and they wanna improve in here, five, six, and seven. They don't really have the lower level issues. They're already strong and functional enough, no real pain, they're good mobility, although we check that as well with functional movement screen and, and, and other sports screens. But the higher level coordination, agility, and athleticism, we're seeing more and more people. So physical therapy on this myth number three busting, the fact is it's for pain, yes, it's for prevention, and it's for performance and health, fitness, and sports. So hopefully that helps clear up some things and sheds a different light on what you might have thought physical therapy was. And hopefully you knew all this and you can pass that around to other people that it's not just for pain. There are some many other things that we can help you with. Uh, like always, if there's comments or questions, please address them and we'd, be, we'd love to talk to you, start that conversation and help you out any way we can.